my name is Sarge. Welcome to another virtual experience. Uh, I am an AmeriCorps member with the Southern Appalachian Highlands Conservancy. And last time we met up, we crossed through the Overmountain Crossroads along our 14 mile hike. And we're gonna pick up right where we left off there, except continuing along the AT instead of dipping into Hampton Creek Cove. Along this hike, we're gonna make our way all the way up to another famous mountain ball known as Little Hump and back down through the Overmountain Victory Trail. The Roan Highlands can be often unpredictable, whether it be weather or wildlife, so make sure you bring along a lot of gear with you to help you out. For example, you should bring along a first aid kit in case you get hurt, some extra layers, it can get colder when you're heading up into higher elevation. I also recommend a rain jacket, uh, plenty of water, um, and make sure you bring a comfy pack to hold all of those things. Uh, a cell phone would also be recommended. Make sure you let anybody know, uh, either a close relative or friend, uh, where you're going and when you're going to get back. I would also bring a mask, as uh, especially during this time of the year, the trail's getting a little crowded in case you run into anybody. And uh, also plan up a backup plan. Um, sometimes, especially at this parking lot, all the parking spaces are full and you may not be able to start at this access point. Um, Another route you could take from here is to go on the Tennessee side at Hampton Creek Cove and take that up to the Overmountain Crossroads and head to Little Hump. Uh, so without further ado, let's, let's get going on an adventure. Welcome to the confluence of the Appalachian Trail and the Overmountain Victory Trail. You might be hearing a bunch of chipmunks behind me uh, going ham in the leaves playing with each other. They are very adorable. Um, but from here, after hiking about a half mile uphill from the parking lot, we'll be hanging right northeast along the Appalachian Trail to our destination of Little Hump. breathtaking view, isn't it? This is the uh, Roaring Creek Valley. Um, this will be one of your first major vistas along the way and many spots coming up here actually. Um, from here you can see tons of mountain peaks uh, um, that we actually hiked along on our previous hike uh, through the Rhone. Um, that tallest peak all the way at the end there, that farthest peak it's got little pointy trees at the top. Those are actually the, the tops of the spruce fir forest. Uh, that is Roan High Knob. Um, one more hump in front of that, and that's Round Bald, that first mountain ball that you'll hike across on the AT. And then the next little hump over there is Jane Bald. And then this large ridge here is Grassy Ridge. And then the AT keeps chicaning all the way through the mountains up until this point where we are now. Um, at the same time, we're also on the North Carolina-Tennessee border. So, to our west from here um, 
is the uh, is entering into Tennessee um, or Northwest, and then North Carolina is on the other side. <laughs> What we're looking at right here is known as the lung lichen. And this gets its name um, not only from looking like branches of uh, a human lung, but historically it's been used for lung ailments such as uh, tuberculosis or asthma. Um, when it's dry, like right now, similar to like uh, rock tripe, um, it's really flaky, hard, you could break it off like a chip. Um, but when it rains, it'll get super green, a really vibrant green, and really flimsy. And it'll, it'll pop out super bright, almost as bright as the leaves here or, um, or nearby moss. Um, you'll find this mainly on uh, fallen logs or dead trees, um, but you can find it on living trees. Um, I recommend uh, to view any kind of lichen to use a hand lens here. It's like a handheld microscope. Um, they're just a couple bucks and you can get some really cool views, especially of these delicate little veins inside these lichens. Heading northbound on the Appalachian Trail, currently heading up to the summit of the Mountain Bald Little Hump. Uh, aside from this being a Mountain Bald, uh, we are also standing on an active site for habitat management for the neotropical songbird, the Golden Wing Warbler. What that means is the Golden Wing Warbler travels from South America to North America, and here particularly is where they like to breed. Um, they love this open bald and especially edge habitat right next to the forest um, and currently sadly they're in decline uh, this is mainly due to climate change um, but uh, SHC we're currently um, managing this portion of the balds to help out the golden wing warbler to hopefully keep this area as a nesting ground for them We made it to Little Hump, wasn't too far of a trek uphill. This spot is actually pretty unique, not just for the ecosystem, but also um, for the weather patterns that cross over through here. Um, you may have heard of something called the rain shadow effect. Probably talking about the Rocky Mountains with Death Valley. Um, the same thing happens on a much, much smaller scale in this area. As storm clouds and um, storm cells move from west to east across Tennessee and into North Carolina, these tall mountains catch the clouds as they rise in elevation. When this happens, their density increases and it forces them to drop all of their rain on this mountain bald and along the side of the mountain. That's why often when hiking in this area, the weather is so unpredictable. Some days, and luckily enough, you have these beautiful views stretching for hundreds of miles. Um, but other days, you may be hiking and it'll start like this, and then suddenly you're in a torrential downpour. And that is because of 
what I was explaining is called oreographic rain. And over to our right is Big Hump. Uh, we won't be getting that today, maybe another day. Um, but for now, we're going to be heading back down to get back to our cars. It's getting a little late. Alright, well done. We've made it to the end of our hike. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Uh, and I hope to catch you next time on our next adventure. And as always, stay curious.